up YouTube, it's your boy Pop Cuts. We are back with another video. In today's video, I will be getting my lift kit installed. With that being said, make sure y'all go ahead and like, comment, subscribe to the best. Follow me on Instagram at Poppy Clutches and purchase your giveaway ticket so that you win some brand new KG1 20s by 16s on 35, 15, 53s. They are brand new and they are right here. Hi. I know you guys like that, Will, so with that being said, the link is in the description as well as in the comments. I pinned the comments, so go ahead and purchase a ticket right now, like, right now, no, like, right now. Go purchase a ticket right now, $25 you can win, y'all. It's a $7,000 will that you can win for only $25. Now, I don't care if you sell the will, keep the will, get rid of the will, I don't know what you're going to do with it. Just buy the ticket and win the wills, and you can have them. As you can see by the title, yes, I am putting my 10 to 12 Cognito lift kit on today. With that being said, go ahead and like, comment, subscribe, to try to do best. For these past two months, I honestly think I got tired of riding stock, so today is the day that my lift kit will be getting put back on, and I will be going to PCB, so I will be seeing a lot of you guys there. I will not be in OPI. I will be in PCB, so I will see you there. I can honestly tell you by looking at this, this tire is now wore down. It was a brand new tire, but I did not get an alignment only because I knew that I'm going to be putting my lift back on. I'm going to need alignment anyway. So why spend the money two times? I don't drive the truck anyway, but I will need a tire for it. Not right now because I will not be using these. I will be riding my 16 watts. I think they're showing wire. Honestly, if you can see right there, you see some rust like metal showing, so that'd be bad. By looking at this, you can tell I'm going new everything for the front end. I got a strut mount kit. I got my tie rod ends. I got my ball joints, another ball joint, another tie rod end. I have rough country extended brake lines. I have my Zypher Pro 40. I have my buffing pads. I have my buffer. The reason I'm bringing the buffer is because I'm going to buff out the strut so I can bring that polished look back. And last but not least, I have my ski mask and all this other stuff that comes with it. So with that being said, we're about to head to PPC Powder Coating right now. Make sure you follow PPC Powder Coating on Instagram and uh, I'm about to head there right now so I will see you there. Matter of fact, no. I'm going to see you at the gas station. I got to get gas real quick. So I'll see you at the gas station. Hold up, I'm about to show y'all something. I'm gonna show y'all something real quick. No, I am 100% not sponsored by this company right here, but if you wanna save money on gas and get cash back, get Upside right here, because if you download this app, you'll get money back. Every time you swipe your card at the pump, you'll get cash back. Look at that, $50 and they only gave me 10 gallons of gas. That is freaking ridiculous. The only thing that's gonna save the day is my snacks I got. God, because this right here is ridiculous. I wouldn't even a full 10 gallons. I'm tripping. I was about to pull off where they pumped just now. Golly. I forgot I had to come here so I could change my oil. So with that being said, I'm about to run and get my oil real quick. And then we're going to head to the shop. All right, y'all. We secured the bag. Now I'm about to see how back to the mall. Oh, here you are. Face to face in this trashy bar. Another glass and I am going places. Makes me laugh about the irony of everything. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed that montage, but I just made it over to PPC Powder Coating. Like I said in the intro, today is the day I'm going to put my lift kit on, but before we talk about my lift kit going on, let's talk about what Katie doing to his truck, because he just broke it down over here. What you doing, bro? Alright, I bought some 79 Max Track struts, and I was kind of skeptical how they will fit or not, and they didn't fit. So, instead of me just going back to my stock struts, I ordered a whole new lift kit. But what lift kit is this? That's just a rough country lift kit. It's six, inch? six inch with strut space. Right. It is for sale. So if you want to buy it, you can't come buy it. What does it go on? Uh, 2010 Chevy Silverado 1500 is a four-wheel drive lift kit. Yeah, you can put on an SUV like this as well. So if you want to buy it, how much you want for it? Um, you bring me 900 bucks, you can take it. The crazy part is I'm putting the lift on by myself. Well, I have a little help, which I haven't seen on the channel me putting the lift on. So I'm going to do it today. I don't know what I'm doing 100%, but I'm going to try. Don't comment in the comments because I really don't know. But I'm going to learn today, so that's all that matters. You can honestly see right here, this is the bad slot that was on the truck too. And we bring it back to life. Well, not we. Kaden bring it back to life. And big shout out to Zyper Pro 40 because this stuff worked magic, y'all. I swear it brings it back. So we did step one. Step two is we got to go run and get these pushed in and get these set. Right? Right. Pretty late. They close 30 minutes. We got to go. Push up, boy. Push up. Get over here. Y'all let me know if y'all want me to film this next weekend. I'll go out there. We're replacing these springs, right? Mm -hmm. So is this where you want it? No, I want or, to set at 12. Is that where this one's at already? Uh, it might be. I haven't even looked at it. Yeah, it is. So. 
out of all Lift Kit Wheels and Tire Shops I have ever attended, I've never seen no shop that had this machine yet. This thing does everything by itself. Some of y'all need to invest in this right here, because I like that. All you gotta press is a button and they go, right? Right. This is the type of content I was talking about. Y'all wanna see this stuff right here or no? Because, y'all, they got them here, I swear. Got a side-by-side -side right there, the Jeep right here, another side-by-side -side up there. That's crazy, bro. What size are these tires right here? 43s. 43s? All right, guys, I want y'all to stop what y'all doing. Make sure y'all come over to Short Stock Custom. If you need any mechanics works, any lift kits done, any motor work, so make sure you reach out to them right now and tell them Pop Cutter sent you. It's Short Stock Customs, located in Douglasville, Georgia. They got the best price, best work. Make sure you come in here right now, y'all. They got some cool stuff over here. They got a Jeep right here, a Jeep right there. They got a Doom Buggy, another Jeep. This is their business card right here, so when you call, make sure you ask for Chris. They got the wheels right there. See all this? Man, they got it for y'all. I'm telling y'all, y'all come here and shop. So y'all make sure y'all come over here, y'all support them. All right, guys, yesterday I actually took longer than expected putting the lift kit on. With that being said, I'm about to go ahead and install it right now, so I'm going to shoot y'all to the montage, and I hope y'all enjoy this video. We were crazy in love, careless and young, but I wouldn't change it. You had me right from the start, you gave me your all, but something changed, yeah. And I know, I know, I know I sometimes drive you crazy all right, guys, like I always say, I apologize for the noise in the background, but we just got all the stock parts off. Now, everybody go ahead and put a 10 to 12 on. I can't wait to see y'all. We got the grill going on over there. Let me go to the grill quick, because I am starving. You know, a fat boy like me starving. Let me go see what they got on there. Got Brendan on the grill. Yep. You don't know what you're doing? They got their fingerprints on the cheese. <laughs> Mechanic hands. Is this how y'all mechanics be taking y'all lunch break? So our dirty hands eating y'all lunch? Golly, I'm experiencing it right now. Yeah, I know, I know, I know I sometimes drive you crazy Yesterday when you was running in Gabe's house, what fell out your pocket? A condom, huh? A condom? <laughs> I bet you ain't gonna hit none at the party last night Oh <laughs> Hey I bet you ain't gonna hit nothing last night Oh, you crazy <laughs> You should let me love you But you're making it so hard I thought the 7 and 9 was bad and I couldn't see out of that. Uh, let me knock on wood. We're wood. I need to find some wood because that's bad. Is this the sperm bank? It said that I had a call from the sperm bank. You jack it, we pack it. All right, y'all, we ran into a problem. You can see right here, this C-clamp is not in right. It's turned, and that ain't good. It's about to pop off. That's so unsafe. And you can look right here, it's not even flush. So, we about to go run into the shop real quick because that's not good. I've never in my life seen it lift that this big. This is a fucking monster truck. This ain't no goddamn regular fucking Denali. This is not going to be no regular squatter. <laughs> we about to slap this off control arm on, y'all. I'm so glad these ball joints came in gold because I swear to God, they are coming in clutch with the lift kit. You ain't going to be able to see out of that thing. You said my putting red blocks in? Yeah. What's that? Red blocks. Red blocks. What is that? Colin with the grenade. Go ahead and take it to your truck. <laughs> Got the grenade. God, look how cricket that thing is. Jeez! Here's the grenade. Alright, we got the grenade. Bad news. No, news. it's just got a ton of preload on it. It's too much preload for that. You got it on the tallest setting, which they don't recommend. See how that top half setting sideways? It's because there's so much pressure on that. That right there, that whole truck is sitting on that. Cash, what are you doing? How did Get you it, dig this hole? Get it. Cash, are you serious, bro? What are you doing? All right, y'all, we came back from all bullshit worthless, and they still worthless, because they still did some bullshit work, but we should be able to get it to work, so. Now it's time for this big boy. This is not the grenade one. This is a safe one. I'm supposed to break it down. Said that you need a space, so I gave you it, but now you're gone. No, no, no. The tree fell on me today. Good luck getting your paycheck thing. today. No, I'm getting it. <laughs> I'm getting it. <laughs> What you think about the lift? Oh, good. What a real lift at? I don't know, I think it's still coming in. You're gonna be looking at the stars. <laughs> nah, we're not gonna put this on there. Nah, we're not doing that. Stop being a vagina. We're gonna sit this right back over here. What's your droid dealer? Stop. Why are you always having phone calls? <laughs> you had like 10 phone calls since right, we've been here. Shop. He squatted his truck and didn't put extended brake lines. He was gonna put them on that nut. He said to the gas station or wherever he was going. I guess they broke and he lost his brakes and wreck. <laughs> Hey, 
Hey man, we got a problem. It didn't sit. What are you talking about? You see these holes right there? We're gonna side them. Oh. Yeah, you should be able to just take and spin that. I'm just scared of these bombs. This one lined up. You know where Matt is on our lower building where we do alignments? He's still there. He's got a sharp machine down there. What he'd be able to do is already pay for it. Like yeah, that. let me call him. There's no way you got all that trash in your truck. I, I have like three guys in my truck a day. Bro, like three the guys fact you try to hurry up and clean it before I get inside there. Hey, you could <laughs> switch your foot around. You know what you need to do then? What? The guys that you have in your truck every day, you need to tell them they don't get their trash, then they can't ride in it. Oh, no. Golly! Golly! <laughs> Work truck. What year is this truck? 2018. This thing got 18 mils and they ain't been thrown away. <laughs> Ready to go finish it up? Yeah, you got it. I'm literally having the worst experience with this star right now. They set one of them at 10, the other one at 12. It's so stupid. And I gotta go back up there and hope that they're still open. So uneven. So stupid, bro. Oh, have mercy. Sure. Well, we back again. Like third or fourth time going to the shop for these struts, bro. Is it even safe to rebend them still? It's gonna have to be. If not, you, it'll just fall back out and you don't have nothing in there. Sketch. We can weld it. Weld it? Yeah. Hell no. <laughs> This is the problem right here, y'all. You see it? The ring is bent, and I don't know what to do, y'all. He's still trying to run it, so. I'm actually, like, very, very, very scared to run these strikes. You shouldn't be. It's only like your life. Huh? <laughs> is he crazy? <laughs> I just don't do, like, ranky danky shit and I don't want this to be no ranky danky <laughs> shit. This ain't ranky danky shit. Welcome to Paul Hill. When it comes to my big I have OCD. Like I want everything to be perfect. Oh my god, we just hit a rabbit bro. I'm so sorry he hit you man. I can't even look at it no more. What is this? Man, these comments on this video is about to go crazy. I already know I'm gonna get the worst of the worst comments. I said since day one I started the channel, I don't bash shops, but this video right here. <laughs> My first question is, why are you on the toilet on the phone with me? Oh my God, thugged out. I can tell you today is a fail of installing lift kit. This was the worst experience. All right, after spending five hours, we finally found the bolts. Oh my God, that was hectic. I don't want to do that again. Bro, you're not eating that, bro. They've probably been in here for two weeks. I'm so hungry. How long have they been in here? Like a week. <laughs> oh hell no, I'm not eating that, bro. I'm sorry. You can have it to yourself. <laughs> you had it probably for two weeks in here. She probably got mold and everything on it. No. Look how it just ripped apart. <laughs> <laughs> that they said it sounded worse than a tree stem. Bro, you got anything else to eat, camera? <laughs> yeah, some fishing bait. Look what else I found in this truck. Yo, this has to be the dirtiest truck I've ever been in. Look at this. This thing hard as on the what? This chocolate. Look. Let's try it. <laughs> I dare you to eat that. You nasty if you eat that. I'm not really that good. Bro, you're so nasty, bro. <laughs> 142. And we're still doing this. I'm so drained. Alright guys, this is the next day and this is the moment of truth where I'm going to reveal the Yukon to you guys. Now before I reveal it, I want to wash it up. My pressure washer is not working and it's about to rain. But I want to show y'all, I want to present it the right way. With that being said, enjoy the washing montage and I'll explain everything done to it after I get done washing it. I tried to do everything I could for this thing to run and it's still not running so I don't know what's wrong with it. I changed the spark plug, I put gas in, I changed the oil. It still don't want to run so with that being said, I got to use a water hose. Guys, here's the moment where I'm gonna reveal my new and approved Yukon to you guys. Are you ready? I'm gonna shout right now. 
This is my 2012 Yukon Nali on a 10 to 12 Cognito. Got Cognito up control arms. 10 to 12 Bilstein strut set at 12. Don't worry about these wires not hooked up the right way yet, so we're gonna rerun this. As you can see, I got the Rough Country extended brake lines. My angles are really, really, really good. Look at all the angles. This one is not busted. We just put too much grease in it. I have the lift kit powder gold and red, as you can see right here. I do have colorized mirrors, as you can see now. I can honestly tell a huge difference from the 79 FTS and it's 10 to 12 Cognito. This thing is huge, y'all. Let me get inside of it for y'all. This right here is my eye view of me sitting inside the driver's seat. You can see my girl leaving right there. But if I sit back as I usually do, you can't see the cars in front of you. I can admit that. So you gotta lean up just like this, just to see them. As you see right there, my head is literally hitting the top of my roof. You can see right there, it's hitting it. So I gotta do that just to see. It is currently stock in the rear and 12 in the front. Got a Cadillac tail lights, y'all. It's basically basic other than the lift kit, the wheel, the mirrors done. Oh yeah, I almost forgot my exhaust is done as well. I got cut back straight to six inch tips. I do have my tow hooks powder coat of gold as well as my cross members. I want you guys to comment down below. Did y'all like the 79 FTS with the chrome cross member? Or do y'all like the 10 to 12 with the powder coat? So comment down below which one you like. A lot of people ask me where do I get these headlights from. I bought them off eBay. I put them in the oven myself at 245 for eight minutes and I pulled the yellow piece off. Unfortunately, GMC does not sell clear headlights for these Yukons. I don't know why. I can't find them nowhere. Nobody can find them unless you find the aftermarket ones with different settings and different holes and different light side of it. But this is the original one I just put inside the oven and pulled this yellow marker out. So it can be a clear headlight and I resealed it and it looks way better. My camera setup on this Yukon is a 20 by 16 Silk Forge 101 wheel on 35, 15, 50 theories. I get a lot of people ask me, can they buy them? I would never sell this while I forever keep it. With that being said, you'll never see me without them. They do have to get cut and polished, which I will be doing very, very, very soon. Probably got the PCB, I'll do it. As you can see right there, I have custom eight row wheel lights that I made myself. The entire front end is completely rebuilt. I put all new bushings, all new parts on there. You can see right here, everything looks so good. The only problem we have with it right now is that bolt is flipped backwards. I will be putting bags on it right after PCB. But this is how I'll be looking for right now until I get the bags. Y'all comment down below, should I put a chrome trim right here or do y'all think it'd be too much chrome? I feel like it'd be too much chrome I got the chrome cap, chrome door handles, chrome trim right here. Then I got the chrome Cadillac roof rack, so I don't know. Would that be too much chrome? Should I do it? Comment down below and let me know. One thing I can tell you about the Cadillac tail lights with this chrome right here inside the light, it matches with all the other chrome on the truck. So I really, really, really like that mod. At first, I didn't like it, but now I'm starting to like it because the detail inside of it matched the Yukon. Who would have ever known that gold and chrome would look this good together? Man, this thing looks so good. I'm about to share our rollover right now. Guys, we just made it back to the house. I don't know how that roller is going to come out because my girlfriend was recording. She don't know how to use the camera, but I hope y'all still enjoyed that roller. With that being said, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and try the best. Follow me on Instagram at Poppin' Clutches. Purchase your giveaway tickets, purchase your wood lights down below. With that being said, I'll see y'all next video.